Hey everyone, it's me Crafty Simmer, and if you have not yet joined the Crafty Squad, make sure to hit that subscribe button, as well as turn on that little bell to get notified whenever I upload a brand new video, as well too as leaving a like, as well as a comment. Thank you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Anyways, hello there everyone, it's me Crafty Simmer, and welcome back to finally another freaking video of Hunger Games... Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, the past few weeks of my life have been kind of stressful. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, no, but that's tea I can spill later. Um, and I think I just discovered that my OBS is kind of that liking the reshade mod for some strange reason. So if you find any drops in the frame room, I am so sorry. This is the best I have gotten in the past month. So I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I am, woo, it's been over a month since I recorded, so it's probably gonna be a little bit wonky. Let's hit the play button and see how this handles this. So far we're doing good, okay. <laughs> So anyways though, welcome back to the Rosegate Life Hunger Games. It has been a while. In the last part, I think Heike, yeah, Heike won the last challenge. She won two challenges in a row because she is a beast like that. And I'm not just saying that because she's my character. Um, but she's been kicking butt and I'm so proud of her. And it's just kind of like, oh my goodness. I remember Emil being quite the killer. He's had a few kill counts now, I and mean, he has a, he has a few body counts on his behalf. And I think Christina also has killed someone, and I think Rose may have killed someone as well. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played this game. So, we're just going to be waiting until 12pm when we start the challenge. I think I've decided what challenge we're going to be doing today, and it this it's been tough. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Everything has been a challenge, so we're gonna hope and pray that everything goes well today, and yeah, so far the FPS is going really well, so I'm hoping that we can keep it up and we can get this recording done, because honestly, I've been itching to play this game, but I just haven't had a chance to, just due to circumstances that I could not control. Anyways, though, let's see what everyone's doing. Rose seems- oh, Rose is stuck. That's why she can't get out. Teleport here. And then maybe now she can actually take care of herself. I keep forgetting this bed's in, like, a wonky place. We should actually fix that. So that way my sims stop going over onto the other side. And then they can just get through the one side, and then they can't go up the other side, and they can't get stuck. That would be a smart idea. That would be what a smart person would do. Not a person who's too lazy and doesn't bother with any of it. <laughs> so it's almost now. We're just going to go ahead here. I think we might just zoom ahead and see how far we can get. I'm not entirely sure if everything is working the way it should. It looks like that Heike has been kind of a wallflower. She hasn't talked to anyone. I mean, she's been kind of locked in this house for like the last two days, so I think that's kind of putting a strain on her social needs because she's not talking to anyone because she's locked up. Because, you know, yeah. I love how like the two killers of this game are now friends. Oh, yeah, no. So, so far, this was Nicolette was killed by Emil. Nate was killed by Emil, which was really funny. And Hunter McKenzie was killed by Christina. So that makes Emil the last man standing in this game. <laughs> so we're really going to see how this game goes over. I mean, Emil really has to stand his ground now because it's now a team of girls versus him. So I don't know. We might actually see another different murderer tonight. <laughs> we might see a different death. T we might see a different killer tonight. And that's, that's all I'm saying. Unless Emil wins immunity, then things might be a little bit different. We'll see what happens when we get there, but yeah, that's just the whole entire thing going on right now in my day. So we're just going to go ahead here. I don't think my, my, my command center is working the way I want it to. So, oh yeah, love day starts tomorrow. No, we don't care. Well, maybe we might care. 
I don't know. Emil discovered something new about her herself slash himself. This discovery added a new trait which will have a big impact on Emil's character. Let's see what you like. I think he found her that he... Oh, he loves romantic sims. Uh-huh. I guess that makes sense, considering the fact he's a, I think he's a soulmate. Yeah, he's a soulmate aspiration. So I guess that makes sense that he likes romantic sims. I mean, it would be weird if he was, like, if he was, like, a soulmate kind of guy, but didn't, like, was attracted to the romantic kind of sim. Let's see all the other traits here. Oh, stay away from me. This sim will not be killed by serial killers. Oh, this is, oh, that's the track. That's the, um... That's the thing in my bother. That protects her from killing. I've never seen that before, though. I like that. And then I will disable the reaction so that way they won't react to serial killers. I think everyone has that trait. Oh, no, they don't. I might have to change that then. I love how, like, after one death, everyone is, like... I love how after they kill one person... They're marked for life as a serial killer, and that I find is so weird. So we're just waiting now for about another hour until the game begins. I'm not gonna lie. I am so excited for this game to start. Again, it's been so long. I've been itching to record this for so long. So we're gonna see how well this goes over. And we still have a few challenges left, actually. Oh, someone knocked over. I think that was Nicolette. Nicolette wasn't happy this morning. So, but I'm not gonna lie, though. This kitchen is a pigsty. They do not take care of this kitchen whatsoever. Alright, anyways, though, it's getting close to that time. And actually, no, we're gonna wait, like, three more seconds. <laughs> so... And though we should be probably getting them ready to go. We're just gonna fast forward this and then we'll kind of pause it at the mo at, at the dot. And is now angry from ghostly rage from being near an angry spirit. Okay, so in this challenge, what they have to do is make a sculpture. They have to finish the sculpture, they cannot leave it unfinished, they have to complete it. So the person with the highest scoring sculpture wins the challenge wins immunity and will be saved from death tonight and the other four will have to go for the ch for, for the death challenge so anyways oh yeah and also well by the way if they have an emotional failure or they cancel out the interaction that means they are out of the competition they don't get a second chance. So everyone is going to do a horse sculpture. So I don't think anyone has the upper hand in this game. Um, I mean, Christina's sad, so I don't think, and she's angry, so she might have a lower chance of getting the, of winning. Um, Heike might have the best chance out of everyone again. Or Christina and Emil, they both have positive emotions, so we'll see what happens. I just know that because Amelia's angry and Christina's sad, they might not do as well in this competition. Anyways, good luck, and don't mess it up. <laughs> yeah, I figured no one had a handiness skill. My sims don't ever use a handiness skill, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really use it that much. I'm not really a big fan of it, not gonna lie. So, it doesn't really surprise me that my sims don't have it. <laughs> it's not really my cup of tea, I'm, I'm being honest. Alrighty, let's see what happens. So, my bets in who's gonna win are Rose, Emil, and Heidi. If they don't win, I'll be surprised. And I think Amelia and Christina are in deep trouble. So we'll see what happens in this game. Ooh. I'm actually kind of nervous to see what's going to happen. I'm not going to lie. 
And of course, I leave the challenges unedited so that way you guys can see that I'm not really fucking up anything behind the scenes. So everything is unedited and it's all raw for this part in particular. Because, I don't know, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Woo! You know, picking characters that I like have like a deep emotional attachment to. Heike Payton finished up. Emil the Shamps finished up. Who's next? I'm gonna let her talk. She, I think she kind of needs it. And as long as she doesn't cancel out Rose's interaction, it's okay. She's almost done anyways, so I'm not too concerned about it. So, I'm actually kind of interested to see how these relationships and these interactions will react later on in the day. We'll see what happens, I guess. Okay, looks like Amelia's now done. Nope, nope. I figured Amelia was gonna screw it up. <laughs> so, Heike, Rose, and Emil all finished the challenge successfully. Emil, uh, not Emil, Amelia failed to do the challenge fully, so she's not, she's facing death here. I just realized there was a thunderstorm. Oh, that scared me! Okay, anyways though, and Christina did not finish. So, I was right, it is really a competition between Heike, Emil, and Rose. So we're gonna go ahead here and we're gonna lay out the statues. We're not gonna look at the prices. Okay, here are the three statues that are up for immunity. So, Heike Payton, her value is 20 simoleons. Emile Deschamps, 20 simoleons. Rose Merritt, 20 simoleons. So here's what we're gonna do instead. We're gonna do a thing that, that will basically add up the total, and plus two I know will work for, for fact. So we're gonna take selfies instead. So, we're going to go ahead here and we're going to take selfies. And basically, it will be the highest of their five prices. <laughs> so the highest of the five will be... So the highest of the five pictures that they can take will be taken into consideration. So let's do it. So this is Heike. Okay. Now we're going to do a meal. Honestly, this is like the most unsuspens like unsuspenseful tiebreaker ever. Two, one. Okay. Now it's time for Rose's turn to take a selfie. Take a selfie. Okay, last one is Rose Merritt. One. Two, three, four, five. There we go. That went out a lot better. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead here. We're not gonna look at the prices. We're just gonna just upload them and hope for the best here. All right, anyways, let's see what happens. So for Rose, this is a $10, 10 simoleons. Oh, you pull out a cup. I'm not good at math there, guys. <laughs> Honestly, I was so happy when I finished my math credential in high school. I'm like, yes, no more math. I'm done. I'm out. I am finished. Okay, so 10 plus 11 plus 4 plus 1. So that gives Rose 26 points. We're going to save that so that I can get in my history. Next is Heike Payton. So, 10 simoleons plus 2 plus 4 plus 3. I'm sorry, Heike, you have been eliminated from this competition. Now it's off to go see Emil. Emil, 10 plus 9 plus. 
2 plus plus 4 plus 1. Are you kidding me? We have another stupid tie. We have another stupid tie. I am so done with these sims. Okay, I'm just tempted to throw them all into the arena and kill them all. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? I have my own challenge here. They're gonna withstand the rain. Okay, it's a thunderstorm. So first when they get electrocuted, dies, and dies, well that's their own stupid problem. So, anyways though, this is gonna be a race to see. This one kind of seems a little bit bloated, but I'm out of ideas, and I don't want to use all the good ideas for tiebreakers. So instead, we're gonna see which one chickens out the fastest. And, uh, basically decide that way who's going to be sent home. Oh, not who's going to be sent home, but who's going to be sent to the arena. So, basically, the first one to run inside loses the competition. I don't really care how long this takes. It won't take very long, but it'll break the tie. So, we'll see what happens. You know there, guys. Oh, oh, there goes, there goes Rose. Oh, but she can't get into the, the luxury house. <laughs> They're both getting to the luxury house. They can't get in. Well, let's see if they'll reroute. I don't know if they will, though. I'll take that as going inside. I will take that as going inside. If Emil does this before Rose gets into a room, then Emil wins the challenge. And it looks like he's gonna win the challenge because his knees are so low. Yikes. I'm sorry there, Rose. You made a bad decision on your free will. I am so sorry. Congratulations, Emil. You have won immunity for the night. That means you will not be dying tonight. Good job. Did I leave? I left Heike locked in here. Teleport here. <laughs> Anyways, though, we're gonna send a meal out. He's. You're not eating that peasant food. Nah. -uh. Here's what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be spending the night. <laughs> In this luxury suite there, Emil, at the shops. Congratulations. And congratulations for not making me lose my ever so freaking mind on this situation. <sighs> it finally happened. It finally worked. I am so happy. So now he gets to enjoy the night here. In the luxury house. Congratulations, Emil. We're going to have to add... We're going to have to actually, um... He found out something about himself as well. That's a mood. We're going to enable... Exclude this sim from getting killed. Yeah. So, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I love how they're all down here making relationships now. But we're actually not gonna deal with this rain. Actually. For this. Where's the. Oh, here it is. So we're just gonna go ahead here and disable it. <laughs> um, season sheets. We're gonna change the letter. We're gonna make it a. Sunny warm. And we're just gonna leave it on like. I don't know, like, um, 10 hours? Sure. Okay. So for 10 hours, it'll be sunny and warm because we can't have this rain. But that was helpful, though, for the meantime, while I was working this out. 
They are finding out all things about each other. Love romantic sims. Um, we all thought something else about him too. He hates charismatic sims. So yeah, so the night Emil gets to spend the night in the house while the girls have a fight to the death. Oh my good lord. <laughs> I am so happy I'm able to record this again. I'm not gonna lie. We're going to include the sim for getting killed. It's good to see them becoming friends, though. It's very canon. Not gonna lie, it's very canon. Having to be, you know, being friends in a great situation of adversity. It's great. Yeah, I am pretty cool, aren't I, Hunter? Thanks. Thanks for noticing. Uh, okay, we're gonna go ahead here and just skip to the death challenge, and I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, we are now here at the death challenge. It is time for us to begin the challenge of death. So, <sighs> we're here now. We are... This is going to be a hella interesting time. Amelia's coming into this challenge pretty pissed. So we're going to see how this goes over for her. I don't think this will go over very well at all for anyone. <laughs> so anyways though, we're going to go ahead here. I've already disabled Emil to be killed. They re-enabled Heike to be killed. So we're going to do this now, huh? Anyways... We're going to go ahead here, and we're going to enable autonomous killing for this sim. Then we're going to enable autonomous killing for Rose and Christina. Oh, I guess it wasn't selected on Christina and um, um, Amelia. I was just talking about Amelia, so that was making me think something different. Okay, we're going to enable a Thomas killing for the sim, and we're going to let the death challenge begin. I'm really scared to see what's going to happen in this death challenge, I'm not going to lie. Let's hit the play button. Let's see if anyone's going to trigger anything. Oh, oh, wait, I think, wait, I think I mean, oh. Backstabbing. The backstabbing. She is a backstabbing little. <laughs> oh my god, Heike. Heike. Oh my god. <laughs> She's a backstabber. You know, oh yeah, no. I will definitely, you know, be friends with this girl and then kill her anyways. So we're going to disable Thomas killing for the sim, and then we're going to disable Thomas killing for Christina and Rose. Um, oh my good, go oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to disable Thomas killing for Christina Dupree. I was apparently selected on Rose. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a little fat. I love how I just said this is canon, and now she's killing Rose. Like... <laughs> Disable time is coming for the sip. <laughs> okay, alright, let's watch Heike murder her best friend brutally. I did not realize I did not lock the doors. But that's okay. Oh, I'll let them out this once. This one time. What? What? Stab. Oh, she changed her mind. She's not. She's gonna stab her chest. Are you gonna do it or what? She is able to be killed. Why are you why are you taking forever? There we go. <gasps> oh my goodness. I can't believe it. She's doing it. She she just did it. Wow, Heike, I did not know you could go that way. We're going to disable, we're going to disable a Thomas killing for the sim as well, so that she doesn't go crazy on everyone. 
I can't believe that she just murdered. Rose Merritt has been stabbed to death. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, look at her face. Heike is so bloody. Oh, but she didn't clean up. It's always been this chaos filling my heart is filled with sweet joy. I... I... I can't believe that happened. She just murdered Rose. After becoming her friend today. What? Well, <laughs> is a backstabbing little... <gasps> like she gets... Like, she gets Rose all comfortable with her, and then murders her. Like, wow, I had no idea Heike had that in her. You just killed her! Why are you sad? Mourning from, a, from losing a good friend. Because you killed her! Okay, anyways though, that makes Rose our fourth victim of the Rosegate Life Hunger Games. I am still shook if if Rose did not if Rose did not walk away from that challenge, she would still be alive. Let that sink in for a minute. Alrighty, anyways though, I guess that makes the end of this video. I am at a loss for words. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see if I can get the blood off this girl because <sighs> this sim, this sim is a special girl. No, I can't. But I got rid of the knife though, at least. Anyways, though, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> Bye, there, guys. I can't believe she killed someone. Wow, I never knew Heidi had it in her.